on the order. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be in your presence today here. For those of you wondering what my name really sounds like, I am Tajit Dinchetinash, Market Development Manager of Emirates Industrial Nano. Today I'm going to briefly introduce our company to you and talk about important panel selection criteria with a deep focus on fire resistance. EIP is based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and we serve our clientele throughout the world to our single factory. We have been in operation, in, uh, in operation since 2007. We are a fairly young team. However, in this short amount of time, we have achieved a lot and became a world-class panel manufacturer with the track record to show what we have done. We have always been a regional leader when it comes to quality and innovation. We were the first company in our region to produce certain type of insulated panels and achieve new fire certifications. And of course, we operate a state-of-the-art fully automated manufacturing facility, which is the first step in delivering this high quality and high performance product. As we are a part of a group of companies, we are backed with more than 50 years of insulated structure experience. I would like to show you a couple of photos from our factory as well. Um, it's a machinery made in Germany. It was a complete solution provided by Henneke. What you see in this photo are our decoiling stations which help us continue production without ever stopping, which helps us deliver the same equal quality panel for every single part of your project. It's being a fully automated line, it actually requires only six people to operate and this way we eliminate, virtually eliminate the human error factor. And in this last photo, what you see is called the cooling table, which helps us cool down the panels to an ambient temperature after production so that the chemical reaction happens equally in every single panel, again, guaranteeing that every single panel that goes into your facility is going to be exactly the same. We may look like a regional manufacturer, however, we have a very strong global presence. Our projects span the globe, covering 50 countries in five continents. This has given us a very unique edge because we have had our panels tested in the most extreme conditions in different countries and they have been proven to work flawlessly. Our expertise is building industrial large-scale refrigerated warehouses and cold stores. And being based in the Middle East, we do actually get to enjoy getting involved in such uh, massive projects. I would like to show you also a couple of our references just to um, give you an idea of the size of the projects that we do. We are also, by the way, providing a complete solution for the insulated envelope structure um, through our group of companies. This photo shows, uh, it's more impressive to show the exact size of the door. It's exceeding six meters, it's actually a freezer door. This was one of the first mega projects that we did that has been in operation for more than 15 years now. It boasts an external height of 33 meters and internally it has 24 meter height and it is one of the first ASRS facilities in the Middle East. And of course it's a clad rack system being at that height. This is a mega frozen bakery which includes multiple processing areas with completely different environmental requirements and naturally having different panel specifications to meet such demands. This one was an interesting project in Saudi Arabia. It's a highway warehouse that uses a very special fire prevention system. Instead of the typical fire suppression systems, the oxyreduct system actually increases the flash point of materials, thus preventing the fire from starting instead of trying to stop the fire afterwards. And this system requires an above average air tightness of the insulated envelope and with our panels and fixing details we were able to actually 
achieved even a lower air penetration value than what the system required. And this is a typical 3PL cold storage logistics facility. I'm sure it looks very familiar to all of you. And these are some examples of our sliding doors that we provide and hinge doors through our group companies. <clears throat> Yet another flat track building. We are the experts when it comes to high bay warehouses and especially flat rack systems. And of course, IKEA being one of our big customers and it's an impressive project because this is one of the largest single warehouses that I have actually seen. The building is 500 meters long. Now I want to talk about a little bit the panel selection criteria. Based on our experience, we recommend our customers to focus on four key criteria when deciding which panel or what kind of panel to use. These are thermal performance, durability, environmental, and loss prevention and fire resistance. To quickly go through um, some of these, now obviously the main purpose we are all using insulated panels is for insulation. So the first topic is the thermal performance of the product. There are a couple of key parameters that define the overall thermal performance of the panel and the entire assembly and the insulated envelope. The thermal um, conductivity value being lambda is the first measure that everybody uses. Lower this value means higher the insulation performance of a product. And of course, we also have to look into the air tightness of the joints of the panel as that will have a direct impact on the overall performance. And last but not least, you do need to have a homogeneous foam structure in the panel so that every single panel insulates in the same way throughout your facilities. Durability is another important uh, criteria as this directly affects the lifespan of the panel and the long-term performance of the product. And in here, what you need, well, how it all starts is obviously by using quality raw materials, but that is not the only thing. We do apply certain specific applications on the metal facers named Corona. We are very sorry it doesn't have anything to do with COVID. It's a very unfortunate name, but it's a very high technology system, basically a high density electron bombardment that increases the adhesion between the metal facers and the foam. And of course, your panel needs to form an effective vapor barrier, right? Having different temperatures in your facility. Last but not least, corrosion protection. Nobody really speaks about this topic, but we do focus on it because the metal faces of the insulated panel is the first part of the panel that you're going to be seeing, right? And how do you increase corrosion protection? By using the highest possible levels of galvanizing and paint thickness. The next criteria is environmental requirements. Now it's getting more and more important by the day and especially in developing countries you do have to comply with more strict green building regulations so your panel, your insulated panel should be providing points for your LEED or STDAMA approvals. Our panels use a zero zone depleting glowing agent that is in line with the Kyoto protocols of course and they have a low global warming potential, which is less than five, meaning that there will be no of gassing. Now, again, another value that uh, people don't talk about much, but is equally important as the rest, that is the SRI value, which is the Solar Reflective Index. Now, especially in the Philippines, we do apply a single box method, meaning your walls are exposed to the outside. With a higher solar reflective index, you're actually effectively decreasing the amount of heat load on your building, thus having your refrigeration system actually work less and cost less for the operation of the facility. <clears throat> and the last criteria is loss prevention and fire performance, which is the main focus of my presentation today. I'm going to talk about what fire resistance really means, what is fire spread, what is fire propagation, what is fire rating, and go into detail in testing and certification topic, 
which is very important because the only way to determine if an insulated PIR panel is really fire resistant is through independent testing and certification. We call our fire resistant panels the EIP fire shield solution. Now, when we talk about fire safety, first we need to define what the panels actually do. Insulated panels are, a not, are not an active firefighting system. They are passive, they provide passive fire safety, meaning they are not there to extinguish the fire, but when it happens, they are there to resist it instead. And what do we expect from an insulated panel?